as the Minister said earlier this yeah. week, many of us across the Chamber call for this appalling injustice to be solved in months, not years. And it looks as though the Government has responded correctly to that, uh, to, to that call, ensuring swift justice for those affected. Yeah, yeah. But undoubtedly there are difficult constitutional and legal issues involved in this, as he laid out in detail. Some of the victims I've spoken to say they need an individual exoneration rather than a, than a grand yes. pardon because they are understandably concerned at being bracketed with a very small number of people who will actually not be innocent. Mm -hmm. Now, will the Minister give us an undertaking to continue to look into this matter to, con uh, to address these quite proper concerns for the, the legitimate victims? Would he, I would also welcome further elaboration on the issue of compensation. Fujitsu has played a central role in this scandal and is still at the heart of government IT systems. Yeah. Can the Minister tell the House whether Fujitsu will be required to meet some of the costs yeah. of the in undoubtedly yeah. enormously yeah. expensive uh, 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 compensation we're paying out? And finally, will the government uh, accelerate the investigations to convict those who are really guilty of causing this scandal yeah. by perverting the course of justice? Yeah. Yeah. This is the point about Fujitsu. A very important point has been raised many times. As he knows, a part of what the government did, it put in place a statutory inquiry. Sir Wynne Williams is chairing that inquiry. We identified individuals or organisations who are responsible for this scandal. Of course, those organisations we would expect then to financially contribute. So there are financial and legal measures we can take, and as regards individuals, of course, it may well be there's sufficient evidence for the authorities to take forward individual prosecutions, and I think many in this House would welcome that.